Imagine having a personal assistant like Jarvis, an AI that you can talk to, ask questions, not just find things that you may be searched, but the ability to make connections of themes and different things that you've thought about. Now, this really starts to seem like science fiction, but if you were to take everything that you've seen, said, and listened to on the internet, maybe we'd start to get closer to this real-life personal assistant. That's why it's so exciting to see some of the new releases that are coming from Rewind AI with ChatGPT for me. So let's dive right in and see this personal assistant for you. First question you might have is what is Rewind AI? Rewind AI is a Mac app that you can download to record anything that you've seen, said, or heard all on your local device. Rewind AI has a vision to give humans perfect memory. It was started by founder Dan Soroker, and the team has been made up of people from all over the tech industry with a wide range of different backgrounds from Spotify to Twitter, and they have a decent set of investors who are funding this really interesting work. The mission to give humans perfect memory seems something I think we all would like to have. How does Rewind AI give you perfect memory? Well, it's recording everything that you see, say, or hear on your computer. Sounds a little creepy, and to be honest, it gave me some pause, but all of this is stored on your local computer. So it basically gives you a search bar for everything that you've done. Here you can see the ability to search for certain keywords. You can see the use of a search bar to look for TPS reports. It's able to find all the messages, Zoom meetings, documents, transcripts, every mention of that word TPS reports across your history. It displays it in a pretty easy to access way where you're able to then click into those resources to see more about how that word was used. It even highlights it in a really nice way so it can jog your memory. Now, this is great if you're dealing with a lot of documents, emails, and just little pieces of information so that you don't have to remember all of this, but you can see all the different places where you can go to get more information about what happens. It even gives you the dates and the ability to see maybe where you went after you looked at that TPS report itself. Now this is really interesting because most of the time when you're working on something, you're clicking into different documents, you're moving around, and so the ability to have all of this in one timeline view is really, really useful. I'm sure you had some of the same questions that I did around privacy and how much CPU this would actually take up. Now the neat thing is, is that all of the data that ends up being recorded never gets sent off your Mac, and all of the compression through the use of the new M1 and M2 chips from Apple make it really efficient to be able to take all of these raw recordings and compress them up to 3,000 plus times. So even the smallest hard drive for Apple can store years of recordings. You don't have to give it any permission to integrate with any of the software since it's really just taking a look at your screen and being able to process all of that. It's pretty neat to consider the things that it can do, record your meetings, make them easy to search, make a transcript of what people have said. All of this being stored locally means that you have full control over what you would like to pause, delete, or exclude certain sites or apps from being recorded. Even while it's recording all of this information, it's only taking up anywhere from 2.5 to 5% on the base M1 with eight cores of your CPU capacity. Now today brings the most exciting announcement for this really young company. It's a new feature that brings ChatGPT to all of those recordings that you just saw. Now, this is pretty incredible because you'll be able to ask questions like you would talk to ChatGPT. Powered by OpenAI's GPT-4, the latest release, the new feature is called ChatGPT for me. It's really neat to see the different examples here of how you could actually use ChatGPT for your mind. How do I know so-and-so? What did I do last week? What article mentioned a certain topic? Which bike locks did I look at buying? Now, all of these questions are presented in a familiar interface if you use ChatGPT, where you ask questions and it'll give you a set of text to answer your question. The sources, because they're coming from Rewind AI, you can see the different pieces of information. You can see the source that it was pulled from, similar to that search bar that you looked at previously. You can even see here it summarizes the meeting notes and gives you the original sources from where it pulled that information, a combination of email, Notion, and Chrome in this example. 
Or you can ask it more ambiguous questions like what is the vision of a particular company? Now, it looks like it's doing a bit of pulling both from the open web, but also the specific sources that you've saved in Rewind AI. So not only are they giving you the vision based on potentially the website, but also just what ChatGPT generally knows, but it also gives you more details around Rewind by giving you sources that it's looked at to give you some of that information as well. I was surprised to see you can ask it even more ambiguous questions like what is a good strategy versus a bad strategy? A neat example is something more personal where you're looking to buy a space heater potentially and you want to know all the ones that you've looked at. You just can't remember the links. Here it gives you all of the different places where you might have seen those, whether it was Google Search, Amazon, or Google Chrome. Privacy is a big focus, and rightly so, because this is personal. I know most people will think this is really creepy, but in order to get the best use out of this tool, it needs to know everything. They've done a nice job explaining how this actually works, so that when you ask a question, in this new interface, only the pieces that it needs to display that to you and to process that information gets sent over to GPT-4, and then the answer gets sent back to Rewind to display in its interface. So while all of those recordings stay local on your machine, it's sending over the relevant pieces to generate an answer for you. Currently, there's a wait list to claim your spot. I've already entered my email, so hopefully I'll be able to do a demo of what this actually looks like once I get access. And it looks like priority is gonna be given to the Rewind Pro customers. Of course, some of this comes free, so there's different options here. Free, you get 50 total rewinds. It still does all of the unlimited recording and devices, and there's packages to get the ability to rewind more if you feel like you're a pro at using this and you want unlimited rewinds for $30 a month. All of this is what excites me about the idea of making your own Jarvis, a personal assistant that knows, sees, and has heard everything that you have. It knows what you've been doing on the internet and wants to be useful, helpful. You can ask it different things, ambiguous questions, and help you draw connections. For me, this seems like a step in a really brilliant future where AI models are doing more than just answering questions about the Roman Empire and actually doing something to help us in our daily lives, draw connections, help us remember, and take us one step closer to the world of a perfect memory. Tell me what you think in the comments. If you like this, you think it's creepy, as always, thanks for watching.